Hello everyone. In this section of uh, the training, we want to look at how we can create advanced payments. We're going to post advanced payments and how to check our reports to see how the effect it has on our financials. So we're going to go each step on the way to show us how to go about that. So the first thing you need to do is you're making an advanced payment. Simply go to uh, new, then under vendor here, you click on check. So we are going to pay to a particular vendor, and then now later on, when we receive the bill or when it is time for us to acquire to get the items or the services we paid for, we will also record that. Then we'll see how it affects our financials and our reports. Now the payee, we're going to select Bob's Burger Joints as a payee. We're going to be spending from a checking account. Checking account. Okay. Now, over here, I'm going to use today's date and this is check number. Then I'm going to select account payable. Account payable. Very, very important. You have to select account payable. Then from the description, you can add pin advance payment. I uh, think there is a memo. You can use bin advance payment. So here, bin advance payment made. Right? Made. Uh, advance payment made. Okay. Then you can attach the receipts or the bank information here by clicking on this attachment okay then let's say the amount is one thousand one thousand dollar to uh bob's burger joint one thousand now i'm gonna go ahead and save and close now once this payment is made we are going to check our report each step on the way we'll check how it affects our reports so here i'm going to go to reports so we want to be looking at the standard reports now from the standard reports i'm going to head to balance sheets which is our financial position so let's see what happened now what you will notice from this balance sheet is that it's going to be reflecting a negative 1000 against Bob's burger and that is because we made payment to Bob's burger without receiving any item okay so let's check account payable this account payable I'm going to click on this now remember the date is 20th so i have to select this to today's date i want it to be to this date 20th of february then i'll click on run report so that it updates so after running the report we'll come straight to account payable we're going to hit on this account payable this value 102.67 so let's see what it's going to give us so we're going to locate that transaction so this is 20th to 20th today states now you see over here there is bob's burger joint a negative of one thousand dollar we're interested in bob's burger so if you can also filter okay so that, so that is it another way you can also look at it if you go to uh, expenses and you go to vendors so we'll go straight to Bob's burger now it will be reading a negative one thousand that is, is it is negative because it is an advanced payment that is negative on a normal day the amount that is supposed to show on any vendor's account is supposed to be positive if it is positive it means 
you are holding that particular vendor but if it is negative it means that vendor is holding you this 1000 now let's go straight ahead to bill from here you can actually create bill from close to that uh let's go let me go to vendors again you can easily just create the bill from this uh window instead of going to bill so there's an option to create bill close to bob's burger joint which is this so i'm going to click on create bill so now this is now when i want to carry out the transaction the reason why i'm creating bill is because we want to knock off the advance payment that has been sitting with bob's burger now the advance payment that has been sitting with bob's burger that is why we want to actually create a bill if you are creating a bill, it will be positive. It will be reading positive with Bob's burger. Then, if we are automatically, it will net off the other negative 1000 that is against, that is already been reading in Bob's burger account. As you can see, there's no balance. We are not going Bob's burger is zero dollar. So let's say the expense we want to incur with Bob's burger is um, automobile and this automobile will worth 750 so we expect to see since we've not utilized fully utilized the amount the 1000 we'll be seeing extra um 250 i think 750 plus 250 should give us 1000 so i'm gonna go ahead and hit the save and close button so 28th of february same date once we save and close, we also wait for the reports. Now, from the vendors se section, you will see that the amount will be reading 250, just like we said, right? Then, if you also go to the balance sheet and you go to the report, standard report, and um, let's look at the balance sheet. You see the report also reflecting on that uh, angle. So let's go to balance sheet. I'm going to click on this so this is how you can record advance payment view your reports and make sure that things are done the right way so 20th i just want to see that for 20th uh i'll select the date range and i'll run the report now i'll go to account payable click on that and we would see the effect of this transaction now, the value I've seen there is a cumulative. Uh, balance sheet always brings us a cumulative as at. So you can see the burger 1000, then you can see the 750. For burger alone, you are able to get this particular. So this is how you make advanced payment and also um, uh, create a bill to net this advanced payment off. Don't, while creating the bill, don't go and write check. So you are cutting the bill to assume you are going so that you knock off the check you written earlier. See you in my next video. Bye.